output characteristic curve or drain characteristic curve for a NPN transistor and it is plotted for different values of base current here you can see that this uh, graph is plotted for base current equal to 0 microampere this is for 10 microampere 20 30 and 35 and the so here the x-axis represents the collector emitter voltage and the y-axis represents the collector current which is scaled in milliampere and the IVs are scaled for microampere and now if we look through this output characteristic curve then three regions distinct regions will be visible this region are the cutoff region which is below the IV equal to 0 microampere the saturation region where I, I forgot in the cutoff region both the junction that is the collector base junction and the uh, emitter base junction both junctions will be at reversed bias so the transistor will be in the off state and the saturation region here both the junctions will be in the forward pass so high amount of current will be flowing and the current will be increasing exponentially by this high rate and this is called as the saturation region and that is the on state of the transistor and between these two the active region and here the transistor works as the amplifier that had I had shown in the previous two videos so to make the transistor work as a switch we have to operate the uh, transistor in between these two regions that is the saturation region and the cutoff region cutoff region to make the transistor off and the saturation region to make the transistor on and to take the transistor in the saturation region we have to increase the base current and that is we have to apply a large amount of the base current that is large amount of the positive base drive to make it on and the cutoff region the base drive will be negative or zero this is the cutoff region so let's continue we will be using this simple circuit to show the practical this is the 1.5 volt source which will be used to switch the LED and now a LED will require at least 1.7 to 2.1 some some of 3.6 volt also and a LED cannot glow only in 1.5 or 1.2 volt source so we will need a 8 to 9 volt source or 5 volt source but we have to but if we want to control this LED by this 1.5 volt source then we have to make this transistor to work as a switch so by this switch we will control the 1.5 volt source and the transistor will act as a switch for this LED so this switch will control the transistor from the saturation mode to the cutoff region and in the cutoff region the LED will be off and in the saturation region the LED will be on so let's go to the practical made the simple circuit using this switch and this switch will control this 1.2 volt battery so I can make on a 1.2 volt source and this is a 8 volt battery source which will control these LEDs and here the transistor which will act as the switch and I have used two fixed registers of value 220 volt so now if I press this switch the LED can glow but if I had connected only this LED a switch with this one the LED will not glow because 1.2 volt is not sufficient to glow this LED and again if I had used this source with the LED and only a switch then it will fry the LED so one way is to increase this value of resistance to use it but actually in most of the cases we have to control large amount of current by using very small current signal and that is the case here we are using this low magnitude current signal to control this high magnitude of current to control these LEDs so this is how the transistor is working as a switch I am just pressing this switch here and the LED is glowing so I am just controlling the base current here and the transistor is controlling the collector current to glow the LED. So that's all about this 
QA application of the transistor as a switch. If you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel and give a like. And you can also give your suggestions in the comment uh, comment section. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Till next. So bye.